here we're going to start talking about the brass spray wand. I'm going to go through this wand and break it down so that if there's any areas that it's leaking, I'll pinpoint that and you can see exactly what you need to check for to stop that leak. So we have the wand already broken down into sections. Very important that you see each one of the components because if you have a leak, then you first need to see if an O-ring has deteriorated and or if it's missing uh, entirely. But if all the O-rings are in place and you tighten down each uh, threaded area so it's hand tightened, not over tightened, but hand tightened, no wrenches uh, or tools are required because each one of these O-rings, this one here seals against the uh, brass nozzle and then we have the uh, support which tightens and locks these two together so we get a good seal around the pipe as well. Then each one of these uh, plastic larger nuts they thread onto the piece at the bottom of the brass. As you go down the stem of the wand, you'll see that there's another O-ring here. So this is the first thing to check if you have any leaks. So now we're going to move right down to the very bottom. As I was showing, there is an O-ring here, which seals against the uh, center section of the portion of the telescoping wand. So these two pieces here, ensure that this O-ring is in place, and then we'll tighten this back up and we'll show you what it looks like after it's reassembled again. Okay, so once you've had a chance to take a look very closely to ensure that all the parts are there, all you end up doing is just getting and mating up each one of the plastic portions. Just going to quickly move to the solid wand and you'll see that the end doesn't look any different from the telescoping wand. The only difference is, is that the thin pipe that normally allows this wand to telescope is missing but the end is put on just like the telescoping wand as you see with the 45 degree brass and inside here there is that same o-ring so we'll just loosen this off so if there's any leaking in this area what you do is you open this up and this is what you look for you make sure that that o-ring is in place same thing applies at the end of the wand that connects to the trigger gun. Just look for the seal that's in the bottom and ensure that is properly inserted and located in the end. Other than that, that's it. The wand's that easy.